Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> okay. So now, in this video, I'll teach things about gaming on Linux. <clears throat> so as always, a lot of the things I'll be explaining, you can install them through here. So, you could install these through just cover. It's cover, you know, the wine and stuff. You could, most of those things, you could install through here. So, before, for gaming, we will need a couple things. So, I'm going to install it through the terminal. So, sudo, sudo pacman s y. This will be a translation layer to be able to play um, Linux games under, I mean, Windows games under Linux. So, there's Wine Mono. You probably should get Wine Gecko also. Um, you might need this. So, these are translation layers, and some of these are like audio things, like lip. 30. So anyway, I'll put all the ones you need and also plugins and stuff, but you will need this. Um, also, you probably want Proton Tricks, like Pseudo Pac-Man, Proton Tricks. So this will allow you to basically go into an executable and there's an executable and you want to run it outside. I mean, I don't recommend it, but if you want to, let's say you have your game installed. Oh, crap. Like, I don't know, wherever I have my fucking games. I think I have it in home games. Like, if you... Anyway, basically what happens, wow. Give me an executable. Okay, let, let's let's go with um Steam. So I mean you can't run games out of Steam, but if you're if you're going to you basically run the game like this and then you go with Proton Loader and it launches it outside of Steam. But I'm gonna tell you other workarounds that are better. So let's talk about launchers. So there's a couple launchers. So I'm going to start with the first one, the most popular one, Pac-Man. Oh, actually, before we get into that, you also want to install what yay, G. This is another translation layer that's really good. So let's talk about Steam. So to install Steam, you go sudo Pac-Man as Steam. You know, this is the most popular one. And as always, um, you can always launch things by searching them. But as you know, I like the terminal. So, so when you have a game, if you try to run a game, the game, you could download the game, but this will be great and you won't be able to launch it. So in order to solve that, you have, you have to go, oh, what the fuck? You have to go right here every time you get a new game and you go into compatibility layer and this will be unchecked. You have to check it. I like to use Proton Experimental and boom. Then when you launch the Windows game, it just runs. So Steam is one of those most important ones. So yeah, and look, game run pretty much. But yeah, you got the gist. So other things you should install is something called Mango Hot. So if you go sudo Pacman Mango Hot. He getting the same bug. Wait, I hope it's not a bug. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, so what is Mango Hot? So Mango Hat is like something you could add to launch options, which for example, for launch options. So if you want to, let's say, let, let's pick a game, a random game. So 
So let's say that you want FPS in this game. So with Mango Hut, you'll put Mango Hut HGD equals one. Command. Command. You could do that or you could do it to the GUI. That basically will make it, you know, like that FPS thing I always have on my stream. That's basically what it is. Anyway, there's also a, a yay version, which has, it's called Goverlay. Now, Goverlay is the same thing, but it has a GUI. You got to put yes, obviously, but anyway, Goverlay is so you can modify it while having to type commands. So, wait, if you shake this, okay. Right here, you can set up how you want the FPS counter, how much detail you want in it. And you can even set it right here so it's in every game. So, yeah, Steam is probably, like, the number one launcher, I would say. Another one you probably want to install, it's Lutris. So, pseudo pack. So, pack my ass, Lutris. This is one of the goats. So... Lutris is one of the ones where it lets you like run games outside of Steam. Like if you download it from a website or whatever, or you just off their official page. And it has really nice things. Like you can configure things. So, and if you already have it installed, you pretty much set what the executable is, where you installed it. And you can change like what type of layer you want. You can even set Mango Hot through here and you don't even have to touch the app. You just enable it through here. So this one is really good to play games outside of Steam. But another launcher that I would say that's really good is um, Heroic. So Heroic, I'm pretty sure it's Heroic Games Launcher. Heroic Games. I'm sure. So I'm going to look it up. So yeah, this one. After you install it, you already get it. So, Heroic, it's really good because what Heroic allows you to do is Heroic lets you link your stores. So, if you have Prime Gaming, GOG Games, and the Epic Store, you could access all that library and install it from here. And that's the same concept. You know, like the Proton and stuff, where it translates it so you can play it. And you can enable, customize the, the settings however you want. So, this is one of my favorite stores because it combines three types of app stores together and you can just see your whole library. Well, from those stores, of course. So, although we got that, let's, let's talk about, also, Mango Hot. Um, another additional thing you should install from Mango Hot, the FPS counter, pseudo Pac-Man. S. This one is Lip32. Mango Hut. This is so it works on 32-bit games. So yeah. Another thing you should install is Bottles, if you want. So, what is Bottles? So, you can install this through here. I'll show you. So Bottles is another way to make custom launchers for executables. And you could create one, like, and customize it how you want. You don't have to. Um, I'll have the links in the description so I don't have to, like, type all this over and over and over. So another useful one will be ProtonQT. I'm just going to show them through the App Store. So I don't got to keep typing. So Proton QT, what does Proton QT does? I mean, Proton Op. Proton Op. So, and when you launch this, usually when you want to add a new version of Proton or more updated to other apps that's not Steam, you... You usually have to go into a GitHub and go into the files and put it into the file folder, go through all that. And this makes it easier where, for example, I use whatever launcher I want. For example, let's say I want to add a new launcher to Heroic, right? So 
or we could use Lutris. So let's say I want a new version. So I want a Proton G. I want the latest one. I go right here, install, and boom, it installs it, puts it in the folder. You don't have to do it manually. It does it for you. While having to go into a GitHub, extract the zip, then go through the folders, the config folders of the app. You don't got to do none of that. You just do it through here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for gaming. I can teach some gaming optimization. Maybe I should talk about that. So I have an Intel GPU. Um, there's this app called CPU Power. So if you go right here and you go sudo, I mean, the sudo pacman s CPU Power, and you install that, this basically allows you to overclock and boost the performance of your CPU. After you do that, you want to you want to run this command. You want to go sudo systemctl enable now CPU power. So after you do that, you have an enable. So now to set the frequency to performance, you go CPU power frequency. Frequency set minus G performance. And that will set your CPU to performance. Now, you can you can set this word. You can put it in echo too. So an echo means it's basically it, it always will be in performance if you really want to go that far. And it just makes your GPU like run higher frequencies. Um, yeah, you squeeze more performance. Another command you should install is game mode. So you guys remember game mode um, on Windows. So yeah, if you install it. Okay, so how am I typing this quick? Okay, anyways. So when you install this, game mode, what it does, like if we go back to Steam, it's like, it's something that you could add for performance. So it's the same thing as what game mode does on Windows, but it does it for here. So if, if you were going to put it on any random game. So... Let's say you want game on this, you you will put game mode equals one, then command, command. And that's basically, it. or you could combine commands. Like you could put, you put, put mango hot equals one, one, and then game mode. Game mode run. Don't forget to put run and then put command. Command and this will launch the game with the overlay plus the game mode on top of it. Or you could just do the game mode run, game mode run, and it'll just put the performance setting on or whatever. So that, that's basically what that does. So, yeah, um. I think that's pretty much it for performance. Um, yeah, I can't think of something different. I mean, you could look up other videos on how to optimize your desktop to be snappier and quicker. But so far, I think that's pretty good for what I said because the, the kernel comes pretty optimized. So this is usually what I do when I get on a new Linux machine, the things I do. Some things I do a little bit more. But most of the time, this is all I really do. And I optimize the games through the app and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Can't think of something else, too. I think I cover it all. Anyway, until next time, stay spooky, stay weird. Bye.